All right, hi guys, we are back with another Monday lesson, and today I'm going to talk to you about production. All right, received a uh, question asking, you know, about my approach to production and what they can do to be a better producer, what's some things to think about when stepping into the world of production, what's it all about, you know, some helpful tips. All right, so I'm going to talk to you guys about four things that are going to make you a better producer, or some things to think about when you step into this world of production. All right, so we're first, we're going to talk about catching the vision. All right, not pigeonholing yourself. All right, um, being unique and remembering that the song is the boss. All right, so the first one catch the vision, catch the vision of everything that is encompassed in production. Catch the vision of, first of all, yourself. What kind of producer do you want to be? Do you want to do it all? Do you want to be a hip hop producer? Do you want to be an RB art, you know, producer? What, what, what kind of production do you want to do? Catch the vision of the artist, right? What kind of person, what kind of person is she or he? Uh, what are they into? Are they laid back? Are they sophisticated? Are they energetic? Um, are they deep? Are they spiritual? Are they, what, what is it? And catch that and then see how that matriculates into the music, right? Catch the, catch the vision and the vibe of the record. What genre is it? What style is it? What audience is it targeting? All right. And then catch the vibe of just what, whatever project it is that you're working on. Is this, you know, project two or three and I just want to step my game up or, you know, keep whatever momentum I have going? Or is this an introduction record saying, boom, this is who I am? You know, I want to hit them with a bang, hit them hard, show my versatility, all of that. And how is that going to affect your production style? Is it going to, you know, cause you to step out the box a little bit? Is there some more research you need to do on some different styles to be able to accommodate all of that? Catch the vision super important all right tip two do not pigeonhole yourself all right now this is more targeted towards like gospel producers because gospel is the melting pot right of all the genres out there and gospel you're going to find it all you're going to find some classical some jazz some funk some fusion some country some hip-hop you're going to you're going to see it all right you're not going to see too much heavy metal in the country record in the country genre you're not going to see too much you know, country in a jazz record or anything like it's, it's, you know, if you're a jazz or a hip hop or whatever, like singular producer, that's your thing. That's completely fine. If you're going to be a gospel producer, don't pinch and hold yourself, get used to it all, get familiar with it all, know the basic characteristics of each genre. So that way you can be ready to do it all. All right. The third tip, be unique. What's going to make you unique as a producer, all right? As a producer, you're going to find yourself, you know, you are who you hang around. Barbers are going to have something unique to other barbers, right? Cosmetologists are going to have something unique to other cosmetologists. Producers are going to have something, you know, that's similar to other producers, but what's going to make you stand apart? Do you have a tagline that, you know, people think are catchy that you put in all your records or all your beats? Uh, are you really good with a certain style? You like you have a really tasteful way of using reverb or delay, or do you have your own little hook that you put in, or um, is there a certain thing that you do? Right, you make really dope drum loops. What what's what's your thing? What's your thing? So figure that out and be unique. Set yourself apart. All right. Is it your efficiency? Do you work faster than others and still produce a great product? Is it your price? Is it what it what is it? All right. Be definitely be careful with that price one though, all right? The last one, the song is the boss, all right? Now, this one is a little tricky because, you know, the artist is also the boss and you want to tailor what you do to whatever artist you're working with. You want to make sure that the artist is pleased with the product. But what I mean by the song being the boss is if it's a country record, don't pollute it with you know, other stuff and take it so far away from that to where you lose the song, right? If you're into licks and stuff, don't add so much of that to where you, you bury the record, right? Each song has a message. It has a something it wants to convey, even instrumental music. It has a certain emotion, a certain message. It has a meaning to it that it wants to convey. So don't don't go and, you know, well, I want it to do this and I want it to be this. That so So much so that you take away from the record the song is still the boss right if it's a song and it's really just obvious that mm, this has a laid back d'angelo r&b kind of feel don't go and turn it into a Katy perry taylor swift pop record if it has you know 
a country feel or a rascal flats kind of thing going on don't go and turn it into something that timberland would do you know what i mean you the song is the boss all right so in your production you really want to do the song justice yes you want to make yourself stand out as a producer yes you want to tailor to the artist but at the end of the day the song is the boss all right so those are my tips those are the, of course it gets deeper as you go into production but these are some good things to keep in mind as you step into production all right so hopefully this helped you hopefully you can start um applying this to your personal production all right be sure to like share subscribe leave a comment and i will see you all next time.